Have you ever wondered how to apply for the BCPNP? Well, let's unravel this mystery together. BCPNP stands for British Columbia Provincial Nominee Program. It's a program designed by the authorities of Canada and the province of British Columbia to invite immigrants to contribute to the working demands of the region. So, who's this program for, you might ask? Well, it's for overseas workers seeking employment opportunities and students who have migrated for higher education and are now looking for a path to permanent residence in Canada. But it's not just beneficial for individuals. Employers also have a lot to gain. They get an opportunity to recruit talent from abroad, fostering the overall growth of British Columbia. Under this program, individuals can apply for various types of jobs related to their field of expertise and interest. It's a win-win for everyone involved. The province gets the talent it needs and you get the chance to start a new life in a beautiful part of the world. Now let's talk about the BCPNP draw. This is the process through which officials invite individuals to apply for permanent resident status in BC. Every year a certain number of invitations are issued along with the eligibility criteria. The draw is quite diverse with applications accepted from various fields including healthcare, engineering, management, technology and even entrepreneurship but there's a catch. To get selected under this program you need to have a minimum level of points. These points are calculated based on certain criteria like your occupation, experience and other factors, but don't worry, we'll delve deeper into the BCPNP Drawn Points Calculator in the next segment. So there you have it, a brief introduction to the BCPNP. Whether you're a student, a job seeker or an employer, there are opportunities for you to explore. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the BCPNP Draw and Points Calculator. So what exactly is the BCPNP draw? Well, let's break it down. The BCPNP draw is a unique process outlined by the Canadian officials to invite individuals to apply for permanent residence status in the beautiful province of British Columbia. Each year, officials set a specific number of invitations along with the eligibility criteria. In the past, for example, a draw accepted applications from 225 individuals eager to work and live in BC. The latest draw, however, has a slightly smaller pool, with invitations extended to around 160 individuals from various fields of expertise. These fields range widely from healthcare and engineering to management and technology. There's even room for entrepreneurs with a vision to contribute to the vibrant economy of British Columbia. But here's the catch. To be selected under this program, one must achieve a minimum level of points. And what are these points, you might ask? Well, these points are a reflection of an individual's skills, experience, and overall potential to contribute to the provincial economy and society. Now, these points aren't just handed out like candy. They're earned based on a number of factors, such as the skill level of the occupation one chooses, the wages earned, the area of employment, and the time for which one has worked in BC or Canada. This point system is an integral part of the BCPNP draw as it helps the authorities to ensure that they are inviting individuals who possess the right skills and experience that are in demand in the province. In a nutshell, the BCPNP draw is a unique process that provides a pathway for skilled and experienced individuals from around the world to make British Columbia their new home. Next, we will discuss the BCPNP points calculator and how it functions. This will give you a clearer picture of how points are awarded and what you can do to increase your chances of being selected in the BCPNP draw. So, stay tuned. Let's explore the BCPNP Points Calculator. Now, the BCPNP Points Calculator is a tool that helps determine your eligibility for the BCPNP based on a point system. These points are integral to your application as they reflect your qualifications, work experience and overall fit for the British Columbia labour market. The system is designed in a way that it rewards points based on various factors. One of these factors is the skill level of your occupation. The National Occupational Classification, or NOC, is a system used to classify jobs in Canada. Occupations with a NOC0 or NOCA are given the highest points. These are occupations that require high levels of education and experience, such as managerial or professional roles. Another factor is whether the occupation is listed in the top 100 professions in British Columbia. If it is, then that's an additional 10 points to your tally. The system also rewards those who are already working full-time in BC. If you're one of them, then you can add another 10 points to your score. 
The points calculator also takes into account the wages you earn annually. Points are allocated based on your hourly wage and the number of hours you work each month. So, the more you earn and the more hours you work, the higher your points. Additional points can be earned based on the area of employment, the length of time you've worked in BC or Canada, and certain other parameters. All these points, when added up, will give you your total score, also known as the Skills Immigration Registration System, or SIRS points. The higher your SIRS points, the greater your chances of being invited to apply for the BCPNP. Remember, each draw has a minimum point threshold, and only those who meet or exceed this threshold are invited to apply. So, it's crucial to aim for as many points as possible to increase your chances of receiving an invitation. Now that we know about points allocation, let's discuss the documents required for BCPNP application. The scene script, applying for BCPNP, requires a set of crucial documents. These are essential to both verify your identity and substantiate your eligibility for the program. Let's take a closer look at each of these necessary pieces of paperwork. Firstly, you'll need an official job offer. This should be a formal, written document from a British Columbia employer detailing your role, responsibilities and terms of employment. Next, you will need proof of your identity. This could be a government-issued identification card, driver's license or any other legal document that clearly states your name, date of birth and photograph. Travel documents are also crucial. These include your passport, which should be valid for at least another six months from the date of application and your visa, if applicable. Another significant document is your Educational Credential Assessment, or ECA. This document verifies that your educational qualifications are recognized and meet Canadian standards. You should also have your birth certificate handy. This will serve as proof of your age and nationality. A police clearance certificate is also mandatory. This certificate confirms that you don't have a criminal record and are of good character. A reference letter from your previous employers is also required. This letter should provide details about your work experience, roles, responsibilities and the duration of your employment. You will also need to provide your language proficiency results. Canada recognizes English and French as its official languages and you should have a satisfactory score in one of these languages in a test recognized by the government. Proof of funds is another essential document. This is to show that you have enough financial resources to support yourself and your family while in Canada. Finally, you need to provide proof of your legal status in your home country. This could be a residency certificate or any other document that confirms your legal status. With the required documents ready, the next step is to apply for BCPNP. Now, let's navigate through the BCPNP application process. Starting off, you'll need to create an account on the BCPNP online portal. This is the official platform where all the applications are made. Once you've registered and logged in, you can start filling out your application form. The first step involves providing your personal information. This includes your name, date of birth, citizenship and contact details. Be sure to double-check all the information you input for accuracy. Next, you'll need to provide your employment details. This includes your job title, employer's name and the duration of your employment. You'll also need to provide details about your job offer in British Columbia if you have one. Then you'll move on to the section where you'll input your education and language proficiency details. You'll need to provide information about your highest level of education along with any certifications or degrees you hold. Additionally, you'll have to demonstrate your language proficiency in English or French by providing your test scores. The following step involves detailing your settlement funds. Here, you'll need to demonstrate that you have enough financial resources to support yourself and any family members who will be moving with you. Once all this information is filled out, you'll need to upload the required documents. These will vary depending on your specific situation, but common ones include your passport, language test results and proof of funds. Make sure to scan these documents clearly and upload them in the correct format. After you've filled out all the sections and uploaded your documents, you'll need to review your application. This is a crucial step as any errors could lead to your application being rejected. So take your time to review everything carefully. Finally, once you're satisfied that everything is in order, you can submit your application. You'll need to pay the application fee, which can be done online. 
After submission, all you can do is wait for the results. It might take several weeks or even months for your application to be processed. And that's it. You're now equipped with the knowledge to apply for the BCPNP. Best of luck on your journey to British Columbia.